Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. Uh, a little bit of a mixed uh, sort of earnings season so far from the US. Um, some of the companies are reporting slightly better than anticipated uh, earnings, some a little bit uh, sort of weaker. Um, but interestingly, sort of guidance now, especially with the uh, falling US dollar, is actually starting to sort of pick up a sort of quarter three and quarter four. So it'll be interesting just to see how that sort of pans out if the US dollar does uh, sort of remain weakish over the summer um, periods. Of the big heavyweights, uh, JP Morgan uh, slightly better than anticipated, uh, but really waiting for Apple now. There's been quite a bit of talk out there that iPhone sales are sort of falling and may even be a production sort of cut as they look to roll out uh, the, the, the next sort of model um, coming forward in the, uh, the autumn um, of this year. Interesting as well with oil, uh, there was no sort of um, agreement on the sort of freezing output. Uh, but interesting uh, at the moment, uh, you know, the, the sort of current freeze that we're trying to agree to over the weekend, uh, current production is uh, probably around about sort of a million barrels or so less than that, uh, that sort of ceiling um, currently. So it'll just be interesting to see how that pans out, but certainly oil did fall a little bit on the back of that uh, lack of agreement over the weekend. Though interestingly, most analysts and uh, sort of economists are still forecasting oil to be um, between sort of uh, 42 to 48-ish dollars a barrel by uh, by year end. And interesting as well, the sort of uh, supply demand imbalance uh, that uh, sort of prevails at present um, should be sort of back in equilibrium. And indeed, by sort of third quarter of this year, um, we'll actually be uh, consuming more oil than is being produced once again. So it'll just be interesting again to see how that sort of pans through and whether sort of production targets are sort of met and, uh, and com uh, countries sort of keep their, uh, keep their current sort of production levels going. A little bit of good news overnight for the uh, New Zealand farmers. Uh, dairy auction was up again. Uh, whole milk powders were up around 7%. Uh, that's sort of pretty good news out there. And so now the second auction running, that you've seen a slight lift in prices. And hopefully they're able to give a little bit of respite out there to the farmers. Also as well, we head into sort of the, the end of the sort of uh, Kiwi Saver tax year. Um, just got to make sure your, your balances are sort of up to date um, to try and get that maximum tax credit. Um, you know, if you're, if you're interested in discussing what, what needs to be done, say call us on 0800 867 323. Obviously, still pretty tough out there on the uh, on the deposit uh, um, front here in New Zealand. Uh, you know, rate rates are still pretty low. Um, you know, there are plenty of options out there for uh, for, for income. Um, and if you're interested in discussing those, call us on 0800 867 or go to the website www.bayfangerpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. And we look forward to speaking to you soon.